Wonder Johnny Van Dagens. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Do you have a brain freeze? No, I did not get a brain freeze. Welcome back everybody, I'm your host, Julian Hermes, and welcome to the St. Patrick's edition of Chieftain Live. In this episode, we'll get a new perspective on school security, go on a St. Paddy's Day scavenger hunt, look at the Chieftain Live staff member of the month, and I meet up with Mr. O and Mr. Reedy to check out their March Madness brackets with a little bit of a twist at the end. So let's get into it. So now let's have a little fun. Here at Brother Rice, we have a pretty significant Irish population. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, we thought it would be only right to send some of these proud Irishmen on a little hunt to the end of the rainbow in our St. Patrick's Day scavenger hunt. It's filled with knowledge and study. It's located on the shelf. The Ark. Is that it? We found our second clue. You succeed in solving the first clue. Now here's your second clue. There's a place in the school where you can get Smarties and other treats. Ooh. There you will find your next clue. Stabby stolen. Stabby stolen. Stabby stolen. stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, we're in Stoltman's now. And uh, clue. where's the uh, uh, Smarties? Oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. There's a teacher in Ailey who shows Mookie on one Oh, that's Icky. Cool. He shows Mookie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On our way to Hickey's now. Okay, we're in Hickey's yeah. now. and uh, the clue? Where's the clue? Tell me, Feldman. I'll give you one. All right, where is it? I'll give you one coin of gold. Uh, Dylan. Uh, Dylan? Riley. Colin. Colin? Yeah. You ready? This is right. clue number four. And you again succeed in finding your third clue. Now, here's your fourth. Here's your fourth. There's a man in the school who is who determines your fate when you get in trouble. Oh. I'll, give you I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's not bad. I was thinking you. Right. I, haven't been, I haven't been given the answer, so I don't want to tell you. I think it's pretty good. I think it's got a lot. Oh, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So I guess we're going to have a little bit of a honey. Okay, we found our fifth clue. This is your final clue. There's a teacher who everyone thinks looks like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Oh. Hey, it's James Hickman. Oh. There we go. Where's that key? Is it there? Wow. Yes, sir. Our pot of gold. You guys found the gold. Whoa. <laughs> nice. I like it. All right. Good. What do you guys have to say about the scavenger hunt? Happy St. Paddy's Day. Here, Brother Rice, we have so many staff members that don't get the kind of recognition they deserve. One staff member in particular has been close to the hearts of our students for a long time and is known for her care and kindness to us all. Michael Herons and Lucas Docky present to you our Chieftain Live Staff Member of the Month. Come to love and know Mrs. Stoltman throughout many years through her doing the attendance and helping us students. Now, let's go and see why she is staff member of the month. Ms. Sackman, so Ms. Sackman, how has Ms. Stoltman made your job easier here at Brother Rice? Well, she's always the person to go to if you can't figure out why a student is in your class and or if a student is sick and he, he needs to go somewhere or need his parents call. Oh, when I don't feel good, she has to take naps in her office. Uh, she has let me keep my bags in her office after school. I think a big thing that a lot of people may not realize is just how much she truly cares about every single person in this building. Everything she does is because she cares. She loves every single person. Ms. Stoltman is an amazing person, honestly. She gives out lots of candy and is always there for all of the students whenever any, like if you need her or anything. 
It's clear why Mrs. Stoltman is one of Brother Rice's favorite people. Thank you, Mrs. Stoltman, for all the hard work that you do around the school. If you were to guess which winter sports team is doing the best, most would say a hockey or swim, but it's the bowling squad. These high rollers have been looking to make a run in this year's playoffs, and so they did. David Bauer interviews multiple team members to find out their key to success this season. The Rice bowling season just wrapped up. The team of five seniors did a great job this year in leading some of the younger kids who can hopefully step in next year. So far, the one that stood out the most was Jack Michael, who made it to States. Honestly, I just found my strike shot at regionals and just kept throwing the same ball and the pins kept falling. So you could say it's a little luck, a little consistency, but it happened. Jack's run at a state championship didn't go perfectly, however, because of the oil pattern that was on the lanes. This pattern makes it extremely difficult for bowlers to hit their shots. For me as a bowler, it means if I miss my shot, I'm splitting. Despite not getting a ring, the team still enjoyed a great season, especially with Jack in the forefront. This senior leader even shared some of his insight with us on what to eat beforehand so that we can share some of his success. This was definitely the bananas that I ate and the apples that I ate before. With March Madness coming up, it seems like everyone's prepping up for Mr. Galley's Big Bracket Challenge. And in order to keep up with the legacy of Ryan is Real, I'm here with Mr. Reedy and Mr. O to see their key picks in their March Madness brackets and to add a little bit of a friendly bet to top it off. Mr. Reedy, Mr. O, welcome to the show. So let's start with you, Mr. O. I have to start with my key pick, and I'm a huge Michigan State fan, so I am going to be picking MSU. Michigan State over Duke, although I'm a huge Duke fan too. Michigan and, and uh, University of North Carolina, uh, like both programs, um, but I think Michigan's going to come up on top. Wagner is a force to be reckoned with. Love that. Yep. And we have, uh, I have Kansas, Kansas moving Kansas. forward, and Kansas again. I am a big uh, Bill Self fan here. Okay. I got Michigan State going on. I will be at, uh, hopefully, seeing Michigan State win at that first <laughs> round. Uh, Villanova, our Catholic school, moving on, but I do have Michigan State going to the final game. On this side, uh, I do have um, Virginia beating Miami. Okay. Um, and then I do have Gonzaga beat Michigan. My heart's with Michigan. I hope Michigan wins. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Gonzaga has a great coach, a lot of experience. Michigan's got a great coach too, but I do see Gonzaga uh, moving forward there. Okay. And in the finals, I do have Gonzaga playing Michigan State, and I do have uh, Michigan State winning overall. Wow. MSU. That's a little surprising. Okay, so Mr. Reedy, now you, take us through your bracket. Sure, the first thing I want to point out in my brackets is I like to think of myself as giving you all the Cinderella picks and, and okay. maybe who are the ones. So a couple things to point out, Charleston, Butler, okay. and Providence. Now a disclaimer, last year I took Florida State to go all the way. Yes, you, you did. saw how that worked out. But uh -huh. just, just wanted to point that out right there. Those are some picks that you might just want to be looking for. Doesn't Butler always, doesn't Butler always make a run? So I'm going to go Butler here. Butler, they right. always seem, every year they seem to do something. So okay. we're going to go with Butler. Like Xavier. So I think Mr. O had Gonzaga. Yeah. So there's that'll be that'll be a, a tough one for us. We'll have to uh, go out and watch that one together. And then Michigan. and then the Wolverines, of course. And we're gonna say the Wolverines make the final four. Are gonna be in the final four. Okay. We'll talk more about them in a second. And sorry, Mr. O. Kansas. Kansas. There's your final four right there. <laughs> Once that happens, I probably can start collecting already on the bet. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna say my Wolverines. Okay. We're going to wow. say Villanova, if I could spell Villanova, <laughs> and this is going to be a tough one because I have a couple of people here at Brother Rice and a couple of people that I know in Florida who are Villanova people, but we're go wow. to Wolverines, and let's hope that it doesn't happen like Florida State last year, <laughs> So, and I didn't jinx them. All right. It's going to be a real battle to the end, but I got a feeling that Mr. O might win. <laughs> but we have a little bet going here, and if, if, if Mr. Reed wins, I'll be wearing some Michigan gear, and if, and if I win, Mr. Reed's be wearing some Michigan State gear. That's it for another exciting episode of Chiefs and Live, everybody. Remember to keep tweeting at us with hashtag Chief and Mean Tweets with any comments you have on the show. As always, I'm Julian Hermes, and have a safe St. Patrick's Day, everybody.